And we're back here from Shanghai. The last 2-2 two two game of this tournament, the first 2-2 two two final of this year. This is, by the way, not the first one-on-one -on -one final to conclude this year. Isn't that crazy? Yumiko won Niso today, $6,800 oh. against CXQ wow. in the final. It was, yeah. So much g gold, I almost <laughs> said. <laughs> it's easy money for Yumiko because, of course, the top players are here in Shanghai. And, uh, yeah, so he beat his opponent 2-0 in the final, and that was the first win of 2017. Good start for Yumiko. And one will follow. 1-2-0 off fly. But 2-2 two two action first. Ted and Hainu versus Fly and Shishi. Who's your favorite? Foggy said TD and Hainu. Hi new, sorry. It seems like most people are uh, betting on them. Hi new has a very high reputation here. Has been playing the game forever. Has been playing two and two forever. They say you can't surprise this guy. He knows every single strategy in the book. Of course, Night Elf and Orc pretty straightforward in the two and two matchups. With Yumiko and WFZ, a little bit more uh, special in their strategies. And. Ted and Hayu, they often played this tier 2 push, right? With uh, yeah. Ted delaying his tier 3 a lot. So probably going to be a lot of pressure towards flying Chichi fairly early on again. Here they are. 27 and 20 years old. Night Elf on that combo. A very strong combo. If you hit the right timings, which is not that easy as it seems to be. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in how Fly and Shishi will defend it this time. They met in the winner bracket finals. There was a 2-0, but that was definitely not a good day for Fly and Shishi. I've seen them way better against Yumiko and WFZ afterwards. That was a really strong performance yep. by the current 2-2 uh, two two champions here. You gotta get ready in the game, by the way. But uh, players are not in, maybe still discussing what they're going to do. First map is going to be Turtle Rock. By far the smallest map we have on the 2-2 two and two map pool. We're going to have five 2-2 two and two maps today. We have seen Twisted, Turtle Rock, Santa Grove, Lost, Lost Temple. What other map is there? I would love it to be Goldshire, man. Isn't it in the... I got no idea. <laughs> Can you get the rule book from over there? Um, yeah, sure. Since we're still seeing the players here, camera is adjusting a little bit. Of course, they want to see both players. A little younger this team is, with Shishi being only 25, Fly the oldest. Fly being older than TD, that is uh, pretty surprising to me. But yeah, one of the old d guys in the scene. And this is the rule book in my hands right now. And let's see where the maps for 2 and 2 are. Nullwood, Lost Temple, ah, Centa Nullwood, of course, yeah, yeah. Centaur Grove, Twisted, and Turtle Rock. Too bad that we don't have Goldshire. I love this map, by the way. Here, this is the rule book. Maybe we can get you some uh, and send them out to a few viewers or something and sign them or whatever. Very cool to have those at WCA. Uh, oh, this year they had a rule book, <laughs> but for all the games. Last year they had just uh. loose papers. That was... <laughs> um, and last year there was a rule in... The as if play not being allowed for Dota. <laughs> <laughs> that was changed, though. Uh, WCA. The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> That's right. So on uh, December 7th, there's going to be another GCS. The oh Super GCS. Uh, featuring 120 and Fly. The winner and runner-up of this year's tournament, but 120 is already in. Maybe they invite Infi as the winner of the first season. We're not too sure. Yeah. Maybe they invite Foggy again so he can I, stay. It's, it seems like the rules aren't too clear, at least uh, from what we've gathered from the people we've talked to. They at least didn't know exactly how that's going to work. Yeah. yeah, we were joking. Maybe Foggy is going to be there as, uh, as well, and he's going to have to stay even longer. <laughs> 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 he's been in China since the 8th of December. And if he was to uh, if he was to stay for that as well, he would nu need a new visa. That's right. Might be a little difficult. Yeah. So, Infi might be a logical choice. And well, it would, be, would be a pretty cool tournament again with Lin one two zero Infi and Fly. Not a single night up though. Crazy. I wonder if they do it for two and two as well. I don't really know who won the first season to be honest. Good Wasn't question. it TD and Check? Let's check that out. All right. How do we do that? Main tournament, and then uh, it's not in there. Not in there. You have to look for gold, I think. Yeah, Hainu is uh, the only player that is not too familiar to us, but 
We talked with, who was it? Yumiko, I think. He said, uh, this guy is so good in 2 and 2. He was part of World Elite for a very, very long time. And also the 2 and 2 specialist uh, in there. Uh, this is 2015 Grand Finals. Mm. But the 2 and 2 didn't seem to be in there, right? Or is it in the Was bottom? there a 2 and 2? I think so. Oh, but not covered on Liquid. Mm. I don't know. Does somebody know? In chat, maybe. So she's just getting a little more drink or, or some liquid. Got to stay hydrated, of course. And I think it's time to begin. TND and Hainu versus Sushi and Fly. Best of five. And I wonder how many variations we're going to see from these two builds. I mean, the TND and Hainu build seems to be set in stone. Mass Huntress, a lot of fiends, and oop, just the chairs here. And then hit the timing before and snare dryads and everything else is ready for Shishi and Fly. I'm really curious. Two and two, I love it. It's uh, action packed that suits my cast style, especially <laughs> when I'm casting alone, man. Two and two is a blessing for me because I can just go on and on and on. And here we go. Fly and Shishi in blue, TD and Hainu in red. Here we go, best of five in the grand final. Alrighty. Ted, of course, uh, not really that active anymore in one on ones. He actually, I looked it up, he did try to qualify for the one on one, but that didn't work out. But in two and two, it's more about strategy, it's more about teamwork, it's more about builds. I guess the mechanics, of course, are important, but they're not the end all be all, I guess. We're gonna see the Ted Fiends. Uh, no, we're not gonna see the Ted Fiends. We're gonna see the early Fiends. And for his uh, ally, he has been playing Keeper of the Grove most of the time, right? I think so, yeah. Makes sense to go for the Keeper. Disable the two strong heroes that Shishi and Fly have to offer here. You, d you really want to keep them low in levels and on HP. Otherwise, they have a good time against Fiends if they reach them. And you have the Hunter's build coming out for High New. No surprise, this is uh, definitely what we were expecting. And again, the Keeper. So they're sticking with their program, and why not? Has been very, very successful for them so far. They haven't dropped a map yet, right? Nope. 2-0 against Shishin Fly, 2-0 against Yumiko and WFZ, who were so strong against Yumi uh, and against Lawliot and Focus in the semi-final with a crazy amount of more teams. You all saw that. So for TD, Ultra is late. And the Tomb of Redex lines up perfectly, so we see the first Fiends coming up. On the other side, no Engine of War yet, no Huntress Hall yet. Though, of course, it is Mass Huntress, so it's gonna take a little while. Shishi, on the other side, is going for Demon Hunter and for Engine of War without a Huntress Hall. So, no Huntress okay, for him. Of course, Fly attack. is the one who has to block, and he is the one who has to do the damage and slow and dispel and everything, all the utility that you can get from Dryads. Maybe even uh, Talents later. Yeah, I think that's what we've been uh, seeing from a lot of Night Elves. There's a lot of Archers and Talons. Let's see if that's going to be happening again. Here we have the first few Creep Camps starting. Well, not for the Keeper. He's going to be walking across, and of course, that's a big strength of the Keeper. Only real ability for level 1 uh, lockdown with the Entangle. Is he going to get a Creep with that? Probably not. Is he going to get a Grunt with that? Probably not. Maybe a Peon, but mostly it's going to be annoying. And trying to go for the last hit? No. Not gonna work. And he's gonna buy some time here, and as you correctly pointed out, trying to prevent the uh, heroes from spiraling out of control, because the demon and the blade, we all know, massive, mighty right clicks, and the undead now out as well. His levels are gonna be very, very crucial also. Turtle Rock, usually a map for undeads that they love, and also a map where a lot of creeping can be done, but this way, this time it's gonna be, you have to divide it by four players, and considering that, this map is pretty damn small. Since we're in a 2 and 2. Yeah. Shishi is teching, Fly is teching. TD is not teching, but he has the resources. Maybe slipping a little here. Or I don't think he wants to go for another Fiend. He Player should go for the 20 attack. supply tech, and there we go. And Hainu, of course, will stay on tier 1 for the longest, longest time. Double Engine of War is up, so they become stronger with more and more Hunters. Map presence will be theirs. But what can the blue guys do against this, the blue man group? Seems like the blade's just gonna keep on creeping, keep on stacking up. So far, no items yet, not even a circlet bot, which slightly surprises me. 
Here we see one of the Entangles going out. That will be the death of the Wisp. Is the Demon gonna go for the Ogre Major here with only one Archer? Yeah, not sure that he wants to do that. Blade Master now finding the first circlet for him. And the Keeper's coming in again. Only gonna be a little bit annoying here. No kills to be happening. Blade with the Boots of Speed and the Telly Staff. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. And he's gonna try to annoy Ted here as much as possible. Of course, looking for the mana burns. And he's on the chase. And we'll get them out soon. Alright, here's the first one. With two more coils remaining. And three fiends for TD. Get more experience, but maybe last it for Shishi. Nope, not going for it. TD yesterday came to dinner where Shishi was as well. And he seemed to be in a great mood. Like uh, joking, uh, jollying around. Next coil hits him. And tangles around, maybe. Ah, he stabs oh, nice. out. That's why I got the staff. Yeah. Okay. Perfect solution against that, and flies taking the time to get the Ogre Mage Eyes. So important for the ward, but this might be punished. He has to hurry up here. Is there oh. a dust for the undead? There is. Oh, Entangle. Does and he dust. not even get the big one? He gets the big one. He gets the item. Not nope. No, doesn't get the item, and he's going to fall here. Is he? Yes, he is. Yes, DK got the Claws of Attack plus 9, and this is going to be, oh, well, not that great for their heroes, because they don't have agility heroes. Otherwise, crazy damage. Shishi is getting the Magi on the other side. Who got the ward, by the way? Fly got the ward, I think. Um, yes, he did. Okay. Huntress coming over. But there's Grunts and Archers here. This is a really formidable army. Might be getting this one Archer, thanks to the Ensnare. Shishi got a pendant of energy. That would be great later on. Ultra vision for him. Double engine of lore coming up. And flies base, of course. Blade Master being revived. That kills the, the Shadow Hunter time. Ah, Naga already out for him. Oh, that is Shishi. Uh, so yeah, that kills the Shadow Hunter timing. Beastery, no lodge, no walkers. He has some dispel from the Dryads, but Spirit Link can be really, really good. But TD, very aggressive creeping here together with yeah. Hainu on the back of the turtle for the utility items for. Uh, the Squad of the Beast, wow. and since there is not much to spell... Yeah, and this is two armies with a scroll, yeah. man. That's I mean, really good. You can dispel with Wisp, but you don't really want to sacrifice them for that. On the other side, Squad of the Beast as well. Same goes for this, but there's not too much damage. The Fiends will uh, benefit a lot going for the first grunt, but not going for the surround. Nice attack. TD and Hainu, they always know what's going on, and they punish it. And the lit should be coming soon as well, I guess. And again, we have Ted staying on uh, yeah, Tier 2. He's been doing this a lot in his previous games. Has the resources now for Tier 3, but he is getting another Ziggurat ready. And yeah, this is the Tier 2 pressure we were talking about. Are they going to be moving across? Probably going to wait for the Lich, and then it might be go time already. Yeah, I agree. Not too much is there for Fly. He goes for the Kodo, which is, of course, a great. The Warsong Battle Drums aura uh, will provide double... Uh, increased damage. Shadowhunter is coming, but really late. TD and Hainu already at 86 supply. And you see the pressure on Shishi and Fly. They only go for the creep spot in uh, between their bases. Late Master not level 3, Demon Hunter not level 3, Naga not level 2, so it's not the greatest one. But here's the damage uh, boost, so it's okay. Another item, uh, big healing for the Death Knight. Level 4 on him already. Level 3 for the Demon Hunter as well. Big deal. The item found was the ring, I believe. Yes, it was. And they're stacking up the demon here with armor. Taking a page out of Czech's book, I guess. Now with 11.9 uh, armor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this is sick. That's true. The other side, Hainu only level 1 with the Keeper of the Grove. No thorns are up for him. And But the first heal scroll has been stolen from the shop here. There's not more, so they are a little struggling here. Fly and Shishi, because they can't go to the other shop, really. Because... The armies are uh, there, but they venture out to the head of the turtle, going for the rat spot. There's no raider, no ensnare yet, right? I don't think so. Oh, a lot oh. of grunts. But also a lot of army for Ted here. He's still on tier 2, not going to tier 3. The Huntress is also on pretty much 50 supply from high new. More scrolls, this time of protection, also a dust. They of course, the, the heal scrolls can be purchased from the under shop as well. But uh, and Fly and Shishi will not be able to afford that luxury. Of course, it makes sense to not really go for many raiders because the hunters in in that big amount they kill them easy with the normal damage. But I think one or two for ensnares would be pretty damn good. Of course, it is a long time Legion Doomhorn, an item that they will sell because they have it already. A lot of wisps for that Nate. 
are here in the army. Three of them, two already detonated. Very <laughs> passive game so far. Yeah. None of them wanting to overextend. None of them even going into upkeep. And Ted does decide to tech finally. Which is definitely later than usual, as you would see in a 1v1. But with a big army now. Two damage upgrades on those fiends. And this is kind of a bottleneck. Um, this is great position for TD oh, and Hainu. Well, the, the protection on everything. Yeah. And the Thorns are as working against them too, so the Grunts take additional damage. The Kodo's pretty safe though. <coughs> what can they do? Kills the Berserker now. Nova onto the Demon Hunter. He's being focused a little. What a slaughter. He is staff out. Demon Hunter out of the fight. Level 3 for the Blade Master. I think he goes level 2 crit. And finally the Grunts find a few spiders. He got the wisp for the detonate so big he needs to get rid of the scroll of protection and scroll of the beast and he's gonna be able to they are gonna be able to get that on most of Ted's and Hainu's army. Wow, this looks really good for Shishi and Fly. Yeah, I think so too. The front line is starting to disappear, but oh, no, the, on, the dodge, dodge on the coil! Well done by Fly! And that prevents the death of the demon uh, of the Blade Master. He still has a potion. The grunts no. are all about to fall! Here comes the coil! Where's the potion? There we go! Which now level 3, but not much army left it seems, going for the demon again, but he also has a healing potion. They're going for these heroes and they just don't get him. The orcs are completely gone though. There's no grunts remaining, only the one Kodo beast and now they have to run away. Just the pure mass of Hainu and TD is surviving here. They can't really fight against the fiends here, even if it's a uh, uh, lot of dryads here. <laughs> no call, no left. around here, a little yeah. bit of uh, <laughs> showing off. Level 3 Keeper of the Grove, desperately trying to go for the DK. Forces the Town Portal, otherwise the Fiends will suffer. Oh, Positioning by TD, not that great in that position, but nice fight. Uh, on the other side, Shishi didn't lose, I think, anything. Uh, he lost like Dryad or two, or maybe a little bit more, but definitely Fly took the biggest amount of the beating here. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, only natural, of course, with him having the melee units. <laughs> Ted now, he's only at 40 supply himself. He has reached tier 3, so you're going to be going for a third hero. Doesn't seem Dark like Ranger. at the moment. Oh, okay, Dark Ranger. Silence against the Shadow Hunter is always nice. Yep. And also another ranged hero to be standing no, behind the Huntresses yeah. and shooting. Yeah, of course no tech from Hainu. He's up at 40 food already. No techs on his Huntress, by the way. That's interesting. Usually you see them at 1-1 one, one very, very fast, but no. Zero upgrades on... Oh, zero two on the Orc side, by the way. Uh, of course, they have to block, so every defense upgrade is good for them. And now they're fighting for the remainder of the Merchant. Oh, the Keeper way far up at front, eating the Ensnare and the Backstab, but he is going to survive. We have Frost Armor, interesting, even though there are so many Dryads. Tom of Agility gets the Blade Master, plus eight damage. And they want to engage, I don't know, oh, the Demon Hunter, and Tangle, Nova, everything, gets focused even further, Invu Potion maybe on him, can't get it now, wow, this is so risky, Hill Scroll, well bought, and the front line is not that great for the red team, the Hunters are not in front of the uh, spiders as you want to, but level 5 DK, Demon Hunter is wow. out of the fight. Here comes the coil, that's a lot of damage towards the Blade Master, but there is an invo and there's also healing on the SH, should be using it now, of course. The Pendant of Energy coming in big on the second hero of the Orc. A bomb in front, tanking quite a bit, but getting munched up by the Kodo Beast, and it seems like Fly and Shiki, they're pressing forward the Knight of oh, Hainu has barely anything left. <laughs> nice staff. Yeah, the Hunters are still there, the Raiders are catching them though, and says are flying, T TD is losing two more fiends, Blade Master surviving, Demon Hunter is back, Keeper is out of position, Demon Hunter gets another heal wave, very well done by Fly, Raiders are following the Keeper of the Grove, Nets are flying, can he reach him with the Demon Hunter? No, he's going for the DK so far, slow from the Dryad, it's coming in, perfectly played by Shishi and Fly, and the Keeper has to TP out, does TD have a TP? No, he doesn't, so time to pick up the pieces, everything will be falling, that is undead, going for the oh Lich, critical the Lich. right click, Unbelievable damage by this uh, Orc Night Elf army. De Dark Ranger is dead as well. Hainu is coming back, but the Keeper is so low. Everything is all over the place. No real frontline anymore. Level 4 on the Demon. Level 3 on the Naga. Going for the Keeper now. Uh, still surviving. What a fight here. They had an opportunity there to kill the DK a while ago, but they didn't. Instead, they killed the other heroes, which is also good. Of course, no Orb of Corruption. Actually, the Keeper rebought yeah. an Orb of Corruption. He has one Entangle here at the ready. Of course, there are Dryads, however, against this. They're staying in this fight. Keeper out of mana now, thanks to the burn. TED on 36 supply only. And Hainu 
29, and they have lost so many units six. and heroes that fight. Sick, sick, sick fight. Fly already reproducing the front line with Raiders and Grunts. 39 food for him. Shishi at 40. And of course, now they can get the red spot, which is remaining the one last. Uh, one here. First heroes both at level 4. So much damage. The Kodo is still alive. Of course, there's no ra way to reach it. Red spot drops. Uh, can oh, the Wasong battle drums. Woo! That is amazing! On the other side, TD on 42 food going for statues. Now, no destroyers, by the way. Of course, there's a lot of uh, Dryad, so it's not the best thing to have. Keeper of the Grove getting level 4, that is Aura level 2, and that's a lot of damage. TD going for Abominations now to have a little more block line um, in addition to the Huntress. I think this is mass feeding now, since the Huntress don't really provide anything anymore. Lich is almost back. Dark Ranger will take some time, but uh, because she is level 2. Hunts aren't even tech, by the way, so that's 0-0, zero, zero, so they are truly horrendous here in this late game. Late Master, four and a half, SH getting closer to four, team. I think the big thing here this game is how good of a job Fly and Shihi are doing of keeping their heroes alive, always yeah. having the staffs ready, the tele staffs back in again, the invuls, the heal waves. And yeah, hero focus was a big priority for Ten and Hainu, but it never really worked. Once again, the Knight of Orc combo has the answers after losing once. Um, they adapted. Once they know how their opponents play, they seem to f always find the solution here against them. Hmm. Ted going into upkeep though, and yeah, you're right, he's being fed. That's, I think that's the right choice, the hunts are just too bad. But Attacking now is too late. Yeah. Maybe Hainu can help a little micro, the Orc, uh, the uh, undead army, so it isn't too much. But he still is at 39. That is an okay block line, but of course they feed the heroes, and they are getting closer to level 4. Demon Hunter is still such a big tank with its 12 armor. Naga is a good damage dealer with the two auras. Late Master, we don't have to talk about him, that's obvious. They always have shop control thanks to the two wards. Once again, heal scroll on the Shadow Hunter, Invu Potion on the Blade Master, heal potion on the Demon Hunter, and heal scroll on the Naga. So they know how to shop, that's for sure. I think it's go time now for yeah, Ted and Hainu. 60 food for TD and 43 for Hainu. Uh, can they keep up? 48 and 48 back. on the other side. Keeper gets double heal scroll and protection scroll as well. This could hurt. They're pulling wisps again. The A-bombs far up in front will take a uh, tank a lot of damage if they don't get eaten by the Kodo again. We only have a single Kodo, by the way. If they could snipe that, that would be fantastic. But of course, always going to be standing in the back line. Tension Protector by Shishi. Oh, Demon Hunter loses half of his HP already. He uses the potion. But the Abomination do the same here. No coil for him. Heal Wave keeps everything else alive. Okay, one Kodo Beast is there. Uh, one Abomination remains alive as well. Kodo doesn't eat. Now venturing out. Nyan. Nyanchi, Manchi time. Both Ebos down, and he's buying time for the APs. But the Orc front line starting to disappear as well. The Huntress is doing a decent job. Oh, and now the Dark Ranger almost dying, but there's going to be another coil. And the Blade Master with the Invul still hacking and slaying away. His heal scroll trying to keep her alive. Is there going to be another coil? No, there isn't. No mana, and the Dark Ranger will finally fall DK. with a critical strike. Demon Hunter is following the DK. He's completely out of the fight here. No coil at the moment. Oh, SH surround. Really well done by Hainu. Can he, kill, uh, can he kill him? He's trying to pop him out. That doesn't quite work, but the Huntress damage is so yeah. low. Heal scroll and potion and heal wave. Still dead he is. Oh. And the Huntress remain alive. First AP is there though. Second one as well. Immediately two Huntress are flying. But without the healing, Fly's Blade Master is in deep, deep trouble. DK is back with a tally staff. Well done by TD. And now the Grunts are falling. Gets one more uh, coil on the Demon Hunter. But it looks like the Knight of Undead are prevailing here. They're getting the Kodo. The Aura is gone. And that means the army of Shishi and Fly is oh. not that great anymore. Staff on the Entangled and then dispelled Demon Hunter again. Getting closer to six. Not like the old might actually matter. Look at all these corpses. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the first useful ever DK ult. <laughs> that might be, might be the case. Gonna get the shop here, but everything's really hurt. The Undead has ba basically no mana. The Keeper is level 4 and close to 5, but it's only a Keeper. The Demon Hunter healing up here with some more heal selves, and the expansion is done now. Yeah. That's right, we didn't mention the Shishi with an expansion and two towers up. Another heal scroll bought by Hainu. 
But no mana potion on the DK anymore. Dark Ranger is not back. The Shadow Hunter is brought back from the tavern. Needs the clarity here. The shop is gone, so it takes a while. No level 5 hero for Shishi and Flight. Blade Master is incredibly close, though. These APs are so good. Yeah, man. the Huntress have no chance against the APs. New A bomb coming in. The SH here. He is the most important hero. If there's no healing, the Demon Hunter and Blade Master will not be surviving. Here comes the Entangle onto a Raider, however. Coil flying towards the demon right away, but here's the healing, and uh, the expansion is running. They need to do something about this. And yeah, they go into Fly's base, I think. No APs over there, of course. But now they're revealing their backside, and the Keeper of the Grove might be taking a lot of damage. Nice Actually. repositioning well. Uh, Kodo Beast is completely oh, that's out. That's a big pick. Oh boy, 1000 HP immediately gone thanks to the Entangle, no way! And the Aura is gone for the second time. Mana burn on the Lich, so no Nova currently. This is a good position, the Hunters are in front, the Fiends in the back can deal the damage. Kodo Beast, uh, I mean, going for an offensive call on the Demon Hunter instead of healing up the A-bomb. Oh, Keeper! Oh, where is he standing? Oh, uh, Demon Hunter though, Staff out, Keeper is out with the backstab! Well done by Fly again! He needs the healing soon. The Dark Ranger out of position as well. Where's the end state? Does he have a Raider left? He doesn't even need it, I think. Demon Hunter is back. Mana burn kill. Out she is again. Dark Ranger is, uh, yeah, not undead, but always dead. And everything is crimson red for TD. And Heiner, I think this is breaking point here. He goes for the DK. There is no level 6. And he gets the first hero of TD. This is it. 1-0. All right. TED and Hainu drop the first map, and Shishi and Fly, the defending champions, which looked so weak in the beginning of this 2 on 2 tournament, come and take the lead here. In our grand finals for the 1 0, of course, it's a best of five, so they're gonna need two more to claim the title for a second consecutive time. True that. Uh, how much money is on the line, by the way, in this tournament? It is uh, 4,500 for the winner, 2,250 for the losers. So. Uh, this is twice the prize money for the winning team. Pretty damn good. Yep. That's a nice bit of cash to be taking home here on this Sunday. It's a good start in the year, I think, for them. Yep, I agree. Both uh, almost as much as we make per day from, <laughs> Twitch, <laughs> from Twitch ads. Of course. Do we play the ads, by the way? I have no idea. Yeah, recap. Of this two and two, I mean, it was slobber knocker going back and forth and back and forth. All right, it's gonna be a map decision time. No, for Ted and High New. I was, th I thought a turtle lock might suit them because the if you want to go for a push, the enemy is supposed uh, is forced to defend. It's not like LT where they're gonna be a lot of base races and split pushing. So you can force the engagement, but they lose this map, and I think that's the one they were supposed to win. We have to admit here we don't see that much 2v2, we don't really play 2v2, so our knowledge is kind of limited. But uh, we've uh, watched a few games now with uh, this tournament, of course, and the Doyo Star Invitational, which was also very fun. And here we see the highlights. So yeah, this is the fight that broke the camel's back. That was just too much. After that, it was all ogre. Here they s we see the DK surround. He could have killed him, but he didn't do it. And then the, the, the TP, of course. Yeah, maybe this uh, Huntress stuff by Hainu, I mean, they're very stubborn with it. By Shishi, I see whenever they, they play Mass Huntress, um, he goes, okay, if it doesn't work in the f after the first two or three fights, he still goes for the tech, uh, which, of course, takes some time, but usually you can buy that somehow. But yeah, they're very stubborn with their mass hunters, which of course in the late game, they're yep. just falling like flies. I think they had to win the fight at the top right more convincingly, and that was such a good position. They had Scroll of Protection and Scroll of the Beast for a really long time. It wasn't dispelled later on, but that took a while with the Wisps coming in, uh, only trickling in slowly. These APs, man, they were so good. <laughs> it looked like Ted and Hainu were gonna uh, swing the fight their way. Such a sm uh, smart idea, right? Just going for two towers, there was uh, enough time. I mean, there are so many units between the Undead Night Elf army and the towers. Uh, and yeah, and so you can't munch through anything. Oh, actually, <laughs> the fiends are standing right next to it. So maybe he, he underestimated it a little. Now this SH here kill here is pretty cool. I mean, with mass hunts, it's not like you can, you know, 
Micro so amazingly well and win fights you're not supposed to win. But you can go for the Entangles around. And if that results in a kill, that's really big, of course. Yeah, that was almost the end, or the, at least the uh, beginning of the end, because then the push afterwards had no chance uh, to go. But it was a nice idea to surround the Shadow Hunter without that. Uh, this was actually a good position for TD and Hainu. Yeah. And now they could pressure on towards the expansion, but nope. We have two APs ah, here, they boys. Didn't have yeah, exactly. They, did, they don't have anything against the APs, so that's a, uh, that's a problem, because all the Hunters will fall against them. And yeah, Centaur Grove, map number two. Seems like we're all ready. Of course, we're waiting for the highlights here to conclude. And then we'll be heading into map number two. Yeah, I had a feeling that this uh, might happen. That Fly and Shishi are prepared for this. I mean, we saw it in WC3L back then as well. Um, Undead and Night Elf, they had a pretty strong time, but once it's, it's figured out and once you got the timings, uh, you can always find a solution against this timing push, if you know when it hits. Has Hainu played Podum before, by the way? Well, I'm not too sure. Because that could be uh, chosen as an adjustment, then you don't have to push so hard, because the Podum provides much more in the late game yeah, than the Keeper true. does. Of course, it makes your early game much weaker. There we see the final moment of this fight, as it is so often. DK gone, and the hope is lost. Dark Portal, no more fog now. Seems like with <laughs> Foggy disappearing, we <laughs> have clear air in the studio. Yeah, pollution gone. And Okay, we go into map two. It is going to be Centaur Grove. So give me some uh, portal action and some Centaur action with ah, mercs right. and stuff. We're going to have early mercenaries. Yep, most likely. If you guys don't watch 2 and 2 so much, if you haven't seen this map so much, there's a specialty here, and that is already revealed in the name. It's about centaurs. You can purchase them very early at the Merc Camp, and they are pretty OP. And the single reason for that is their movement speed. They are melee units with decent damage, decent HP, and they are fast. So kind of like Blade Master and Demon Hunter and stuff, uh, without the boots. And that can be abused really, really hard. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it immediately from both players. Usually the Night Elves go for that right away. Um, of course we still have the same... Oh, we don't have the same builds. We have... Fast wolves? Is this gonna be no fiends? Or late fiends. What? Or TD fiends, whatever. It is definitely an early altar. And Shishi, no engine of war yet. Uh, I mean, Hainu, no engine of yep. war yet. That's normal for him, though. Same for Shishi. And fly with a normal build. Yeah, we're still waiting for the graveyard, but of course no resources at the moment for that. Where's this moving over already? Is this for a shop, maybe? Oh, or it might just be, of course, for the mercenary here. For the centaur, the guy we've been talking about. Blade Master and Keeper this time for Shishi. Hmm. And also Keeper for Hainu. I think Keeper makes sense if Blade you go for the Sand Tower. You can snipe them early on. Oh, but. Oh, Shishi. Uh, no, um, Hainu almost losing the Wisp here. But yeah, this is the Sand Tower Outrunner that we talked about. Pretty good damage, fast attack, good sustain. In the early game, just a uh, little OP, I'd say. But uh, can also be used very well for scouting, by the way. It's true. Won't be getting killed because, again, the movement speed is so high. It's Ted Fiends, by the way. Yes, it is. With a little bit of a boost, thanks to the gold given over by the Night Elf. Actually, with the Keeper of the Grove, they might be falling. So maybe that is the reason why uh, Shishi this time is going for his Keeper. Of course, makes him weaker in the late game as well, we have to co uh, consider. Yeah, especially against Undead Night Elf, there's almost no melee, so Thorns don't really do too much. Maybe he even goes for uh, Treants. Uh, we have no Mass Hunters by Shishi, only single Engine of War. Hainu is doing the same. So for Centaur Grove, this seems to be the better alternative. Can they keep the Centaur in the back here? Don't want that one to Obliged be getting entangled. Are under 
Gonna be a pretty passive early game here. A little of, bit of creeping being done, but everyone's so aggressive. Uh, did I say passive and aggressive right after another? <laughs> 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 I meant passive creeping because the guys are contesting each other with the coil. He gets the last hit. Well done by Ted. He still has the timing down every now and then. Shishi, by the way, with the second engine of war now, right at the creep spot. So they want to get access to the Merc camp, or complete access, and not uh, have to do the Wisp trick all the time. T2 is first ahead for the Undead, actually, because uh, Fly decided to go for a two burrow. Entangle, long range. Might be able to get a kill here. Uh, counter Entangle, that's pretty cool. So yeah, the damage shouldn't be enough. We have two more, though. On Shishi's side. And they're battling for the middle. They would love to get these wards here, but don't really think they have the opening. They're gonna try to do f uh, anyways. With the red team, Ted and Hainu disappearing for a little while. They're gonna get the first permanent watch award. Yeah. That's of course great. And gloves of face for the Blade Master here at Fly's side. Well, Hainu is going into double engine of war now himself, so also Mass Hunters entangled on the Keeper of the Grove. Blade Master is taking a lot of damage though, and is still entangled and is revealed. Has to get out with the speed scroll. One more entangle will be there. Could be leading to a surround on this Keeper, but they have to do it with two separate armies. Pretty hard to do, and don't manage to. While the Blade Master is continuing to creep up, will be close to level 2 after this spot. And Shishi, of course, uh, not tacking after the Mass Huntress for Fly. He goes tier 3. Whoa! What? Oh, is it? Is, no, no, it's not. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> but it goes for a <laughs> this time a little earlier. So, oh, AP in his back. So he's pretty scared of what's to come. Hmm. A player's forces are under attack. And, of course, they will attack the Orc base since Night Elf has Moonwells. It was Gamma, by the way. I couldn't see it because of Gamma. Ah, yes. That's why. Yes, that's why. Should we pause the game <laughs> so you can adjust it? No, no, it's fine. You sure? It's a big deal. Gamma <laughs> is actually a really big deal. <laughs> All right, finally, Ted gets to do some creeping here. Late Master is uh, fairly far away, not enough mana, but the Keeper's coming in. But it's nighttime, so I don't think he's seeing him, unless he has an Ultra Vision, which he should, honestly. And Claws, Lit should be coming out soon as well. There we go, just started. Is he going to be delay delaying his tier 3 again so much as we saw last time? And the Centaur? I don't think it's going to be falling to this entangle. Nope. nope. Doesn't even need the detonate from the Wisp. Gets the Huntress in return. Blade Master's going to the bottom of the map, so he's a lot of time creeping here. She has to defend alone, and the middle of the map belongs to TD and Hainu. Shadowhunter now for Fly, Beastery coming up, of course, for the Kodo again. TD getting closer to level 3 on his DK after the Sand Tower, and Shishi can't do too much against it. TED sold the cross attack, by the way. Okay. What? <laughs> Who does that? Maybe in 2 and 2 it's not that big of a deal. But it's only like, how much is it, 67 gold oh. or 80 gold or something like that? I knew this time going for upgrades. First one is coming up. D DK is level 3 for TD. Keeper of the Grove still giving all the experience to the undead. And that results in level 3 for him. Late Master level 3 after this spot as well. Not really the best inventory here. No slippers, no nothing. Even a Moonwell in Fly's base to heal up. A little faster. They know about this push coming in. It's no surprise, we've been talking about this before the series began. This is the tier 2 Ted and High New push. Yeah, they still have the Centaur, 4, 5 Huntress. They're pulling Wisps, and here we go. But the AP, again, he's there to kill the Huntress. Of course, they will be up front, and they will be in range with the Engine Protector if they position themselves well. TD loses the first Fiend to an Entangle, but... Oh, Blade Master is the target, but... Gets out. And they lose the Sand Tower as well. Nice entangled by Shishi. So many wisps, by the way, everywhere. Yeah, this was really good preparation. Yeah. Move on the back, wisps in position. Shop in front of the AP. And the AP in the shop in such a position that really weird to, you know, walk up the hill and then stand here and now uh, you're in range of the AP. So excellent building placement yeah. by a fly, man. Kind of forced to go left. That was really good. It 
Defense Upgrade by at least one Night Elf. It is Shishi. Does Hainu have them already? Oh, the Keeper. Nope. Nope. Not going in for the inter uh, for the Hex. And again with the tier 3 transition from Ted seeing, alright, this push probably not gonna work. Nope. Let's go for some orbs and stuff. We have no tech by Shishi this time, so basically no anti-air. Well, we might have a few raiders soonish. Oh, go double beastery. Uh, so we're gonna have a lot of raiders, obviously. Still no Kodo Beast, which surprises me a little. Yeah, that's right. And defense upgrades, of course, again. A town is under siege. It seems like the timing slipping away from them again. Mass wisps in high yield's tree of ages, uh, tree of life. Heal scroll for his keeper. What's the other inventory? Mana potion on the DK. Lich has a clause of attack. On the other side, attack. shadow hunter also not the greatest inventory yet. Blade master with a heal potion. Do they have no scrolls? No, nope, they have zero scrolls. And the keeper just bought the second one for high new. This is going to be one dangerous push by the Night Elf Undead Alliance. SH is the only level one, no heal wave. I guess he's, he has Hex, would make much more sense. Oh, but the, this is a big open area. The Hunts are running past the other Hunts. They want to go for the Fiends. They're, of course, pretty fast. And the Entangles and Ensnares will be coming in, and the Fiends are the prime targets. And this is a fight <laughs> all over the place. So far, not a single unit has died, by the way. On oh, big scroll of protection has to be dispelled here with the Wisps. Speed scroll on the Wisp, not every day you see something like that. The Raiders of Shishi are a little stronger because the one attack upgrade. They're killing the Raiders pretty damn good, I'd say. Fly is not losing too much, but Shishi down to 33. Hainu still up at 46, so his Huntress somehow uh, surviving. But the Kodo is there now. Maybe that is uh, the key to success for Shishi and Fly. That's of course going to be a prime target to focus. Is there another Entangle? Oh, by the way, speaking of Entangle, keep up the growth for Hainu is surrounded and has to TP. Doesn't do it! Fly on the other side. Uh, I mean, Shishi is TPing out to save the rest of uh, the army that he has. Fly is still at 49. Of course, he's rebuilding a lot, like 9 supply, but TD can't do anything without the Keeper of the Grove. Got a lot from this fight, though, I think. As in back at the tavern. That was expensive. Shishi is down at 26. He lost basically all his Huntress. Yeah. Oh, the Keeper almost getting surrounded there. <sighs> Lucky that the opposing keeper wasn't there. He yeah. doesn't have a TP or anything to speak of. And still sticking around. Dude! That's the kill. <laughs> Balls of steel. He gets it as well. Nice. But of course now he's missing. TD knows this. And the Dark Ranger is once again the third hero for the undead. And he catches Fly alone in the south. Knight of Mirror on the upper side, of course. The Keeper helps, but it's a lot of Huntress for Hainu. And it breaks down into two one-on-one -on -one fights a little. There's a Nova. Oh, the Dark Ranger, where is she walking? Going towards the SH, there's n there is a heal wave actually. Call Nova though, doesn't matter. <laughs> Level Whoa. 1, just way too squishy. Going for the Kodo after, nice block. Well done with the Fiend and gets that easily as well. This is just too many grunts. Tier 1 is in this stage of the game. At least for the Orc, not so strong anymore, and he takes more and more losses. I think he got one statue here, but that's a horrible trade for Fly, losing more and more units. The Grunts, the Raiders, well, the Raider will be getting away, but another Grunt dies. Style Coil, because too much mana, <laughs> it will work. Shishi is trying some desperation, counter push into the base, wanting to cut production for uh, Hainu, but this is not gonna work really because on the other side he might lose his main base. They're pushing into Shichi's base. The moon wells are all dry. And this game, uh, Shichi gets to feel how bad Hunters are in the late <laughs> game. Yes. Last map he had, hu had uh, Dryads, which are much better. But this time he has the tier 1. What are those? Panthers? Yeah, he has the tier 1 Panthers himself. He looks he's looking for surrounds. Oh. Well done by Hainu. And then, of course, with the Orb of Corruption. Ah, nice. Uh, okay, he has a dust. So easy to get away. Double kill again on Shishi's units. 38 food against Hainu's 48. That shows you how much stronger the former World Elite Night Elf is in this very map. Keeper at the shop. Gonna get TP or. Yeah, there we go. Double protection scroll and the scroll of healing still remaining. 
And I like what uh, Shishi and Fly are doing, the counter, uh, the split push style. They really can't win a fight at the moment. Nope. They attack at both uh, bases, so what are the others going to do? How will they defend this? Will they go for aggression themselves? They try to find the opening in Fly's base, but there is the one AP, and maybe they can win a fight here. APs are coming up for Hainu, two of them. The Burrows will suffer a lot for Fly. Or will suffer hard. Can he get the... Uh, the main building here, the Black Citadel? He might be able to! And there after Ensnare they're going towards those Acolytes. He's gonna not kill... Oh, is he gonna get... I think he's gonna get it! He gets it! And two of the Acolytes have fallen, so very, very diminished income now. And we have the Night Elf TPing to his main, and the Orc... Where did he go? Towards the Night Elf's main, his ally. Wants to heal up first, because his main is also getting ravaged! by Ted. Now TP coming in. This might be a very bad position for Ted to be fighting if the Orc is right on top of him, but it's a Night Elf instead, actually. Going oh for the Keeper on the Grove! There was a Moon Juice, but not anymore. Keeper is dead. Lich may be following. There's nothing to heal him except this one coil. There's three more, but the first Wyvern for more damage. Blade Master's coming in. Backstab uh. damage. Is it enough? Crit! And another one! Big you mistake get by it. Ted. Big mistake. He had to <laughs> wait for the coil, use that, and then TP. And now his second hero is gone. He can revive him. Is he gonna rebuy him? Yes, he is, in fact, at the tavern. But Fly and Shishi are kinda back. I mean, Fly, he has to rebuild a lot of oh, burrows. Yeah. It's gonna be so expensive, man. He's in upkeep already at 56, and now he has to go for so many new... Oh, actually, he's al they're already coming up, though. And he still has a good amount of money. Yeah. He got so much from this pillage. Jesus Christ. Oh, but maybe they calculate the situation wrong. They go for a big creep spot at the Rat Drake, and they will be sandwiched, I guess. Here it comes. Huntress inbound, and the Fiends as well. What's the item? Flute is, of course, nice for the Huntress, oh, but the they SH. are in the wrong position. SH immediately dead. No TP. Oh, boy. And they can't get out? Like, this is a 20 unit surround. <laughs> they can't get out of here. Oh, my God. This, oh, this is not looking good. Not for Ted and uh, for Fly. And for Shishi, Blade Master dies here. And I think that has to be level three already on the Dark Ranger, and that is it. GG. We have our Equalizer. Yeah, and they are back. It was their map choice, of course. They are back, and maybe they were a little better prepared for what to do on Centaur Grove. Shiji, I think, with Huntress not too comfortable, was definitely uh, a better game for them. Fuck. Yeah, especially once the Undead has the orb, they can just get picked so easily, like, almost one volley per kill if they're in a bad position. Yeah. I, I mean liked how they defended it, like the push that was coming on Tier 2. Yeah. That was really well done. Excellent. But after that, the transition for Shishi is just non-existent. Yeah, I agree. And then, of course, the creep jack uh, that we might... Yep. Oh, no. This is the early fights here where Hainu just lost so few hunters compared to what Shishi did here. He ran through all the other hunters, getting a lot of free hits on them. And then the scroll of protection hit. Two armor... It does a lot in Huntress Mirror, even though you're down one attack up uh, one defense upgrade. This helps you, and then the fiends just pick up every single Huntress for Shishi, and then they were so far back. It was really hard to fight everything, and yeah, not that great from Shishi. So now it's gonna be the map choice of Fly and Shishi, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Lost Temple here. The best map to split push on. Yeah. With, of course, a very easy way to dissuade, like, that big attack coming your towards your base. I was very surprised when Ted and Hainu played on LT against... Uh, who was it? Let me check that out. It was also against Night Elf and Orc, and they got the Fountain, which usually is not supposed to happen. Lalayad and... Focus? Um, no, they get uh, played against uh, Flying Chichi ah. already in the semifinals, in uh, the upper bracket, where they did knock him them down. Yeah, I like the split push here, uh, but uh, of course getting the Black Citadel doesn't do too much if you lose them. But I still think this was kind of a way to come back for both of them. Fly had 56 food, had yeah. good heroes, but then the disaster came afterwards, like when they got to the red spot. I don't know if there's a break now, usually in a best of five after map two there is a little break. 
Yeah. It's dinner time now as well, so maybe that's gonna be the reason for it as well, some, um, somewhat. And there we see Ted not going for the coil. And loses Lich, but it didn't really, didn't really matter. No. I wanna see the big surround again at the fountain. Here oh, there go. it is. Yeah, no TP that in a two and two, and yeah, the nice blocks, oh, man. The, the concave yeah, is so beautiful. Perfect for this. I can't get out. There's no escape. It's a trap, and it is lost temple. You're right. And it seems like there's no break. And we're going through. Oops. Oops. Shit. Maybe we play this straight. That would be would be interesting. And yeah, Hainu seems to be pretty happy. TD, of course, a very jolly guy. And they seem to have fun together, of course. They are back now. 1-1. One, one. And Fly and Shishi a little more thoughtful than before. Okay, no breaks. On this train. <laughs> Players are ready. And yeah, it's gonna be the legendary map. It was also in StarCraft One, right? Yeah. Was it also in Warcraft Two? <sighs> I don't know, man. I never played multiplayer Warcraft Two. Chat, let us know. It would be pretty amazing if it had already been in Warcraft One. <laughs> Did it have a multiplayer, or was it just story? I got no idea. Me neither, man. Okay. Map number three. This is not the decider as it is a best of five. Red Lost Temple. I love these games that have been played here already. So much back and forth. And it's a little more... Uh, yeah, a lot more comes down to creeping here. Especially the temple in the middle. You mentioned it. If you get the temple, then... Yep. Oh, fucked up the production here, I think. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so far, all of the 2-on-2 two two maps we saw being played on LT, all the matches, have been won by the team getting the temple, the items and the experience. It's just such a big boost. And of course, also, if you, you know, if you get the advantage rolling, that's the result of the advantage you already have. The night is going to be creeping as natural, as we've seen a lot. Seems like um, nowadays uh, the temple will oftentimes be delayed for a little while. Unless you have a Blade Master, though, that guy will most likely run to the temple right away, hoping for those juicy gloves and circlets and claws. Ted getting boosted again a little bit by the Night Elf for a slightly faster Fiend build order. This is all what we've seen before. Question is, Potom or Keeper? Are they going to try to push once again? Or Demon Hunter. It is Keeper for Shishi and Keeper for Hainu. Okay. The position for Shishi a little better. Because expanding here in between is cool for the undead, of course, not that easy, but moving a wisp over to TD's natural should not be a big problem. Ted once again with early fiends to have more control on this map early on. The Blade Master will venture out into the temple to look for claws and circlets, of course. That's why the Voodoo Lounge is here uh, to easily get out there. And yeah, the battle for the fountain looking forward to this and she's he, his choice here with the first hero i think is the most interesting one of course he's strong on level one and stuff he's gonna get level two though which especially in the early game doesn't really do anything um he could go for a level two demon instead and then go towards the middle i wonder like is this keeper really gonna be stronger than a level two t demon when they want to contest the middle there must be a reason to go for it is i think it's the disable like, they want to do something against it. They want to get more pickups. Oh, my God. Special feeds. It's Treants! Okay, it's just for creeping in the start. It's going to be entangled. If it's Treants and Aura, that would be so ridiculous. <laughs> but I, I certainly... Yeah, they don't, so. they don't need the Aura. And since there's no destroyers... They actually have decent damage, right? Yeah, yeah Treants, Treants are not that bad. They're pretty weak, though. Yeah. They're pretty slow, right? 
But it's great against the Berserkers, or the Trolls in general. Blade Master's out here against the Troll Berserker. Interesting that he doesn't go for the Shadow Priest first, but alright, that takes some time. Close of attack for him. He will be lucky about that. DK is creeping the entrance of the temple. Keeper is out as well, trying to look for the Blade Master and delaying him a little. He denied one of the creeps here. Oh, this is not level two? Oh, <laughs> that's big. That's <laughs> such a big mistake. No entangle when he goes in. Oh, that is so big! Yeah. Oh, Shishi! Usually that, that was your only job, <laughs> <Yeah>. to creep <laughs> to level 2. Sometimes creeping is hard. Uh, ask Foggy. <laughs> Blade Master's about to steal this, but no, it's nice coil. And the item goes to TD as well here in the middle. And this experience goes towards the Blade Master, but Fly doesn't get too many items here. And Shishi, yeah, he has to make up for his mistake now. I mean, Treants are nice and stuff, but... I wonder what Fly's what thinking right now. <laughs> you stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, possibly. Last hits should go towards the DK with a coil. Won't, nope. though. Oh, but the key, the, uh, the Blade Master, double claw, but dies with a TP. Maybe intentional, maybe it was a little too slow. Only level one hero, of course, will be back kind of soon. Oh, there's an engine of war by Shishi in the base of Hainu, and he has to repair with That's everything that he has oh there. <laughs> oh my god, totally it was, missed that. It was almost down. <laughs> Oh, and now the Fiend dies to the creeps, thanks to being entangled before. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're coming back into this. <laughs> a funny game already. Flies tier 2 almost finished. More this grunts so are coming. so annoying. This is damn Ancient of War. <laughs> 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 yeah, sooner or later he has to repair again. Let's compare the Knight of Gold Mines. Uh, 10,000 for High New. Okay, it's just 100 gold so far. But it's gonna get more. Like he has to repair all the time. How many wisps do you need to need to counter repair this? Two probably. He goes for five, then puts them back in, then goes for another five repair round. Blade Master gets it again. This time only a ring. Reveal being used. Oh, the fiend, man! The fiend, the grunt is coming in to block, but oh. the coil arrives and the entangle on the Blade Master. Very well done by the red team. And again with LT. The temple being so important and the merchant so far away, Blade Master and Demon Hunter will oftentimes not even go for the Boots of Speed. But here comes the contest. Waking up the creeps. Oh, the Huntress uh, one Hainu. lost here. Yeah, Hainu lost one Huntress, mo one more is coming in. The Null Overseer will be the last creeps to fall here, but they are the most important thing. Orcs, of course, can easily creep here if they are not contested. And here comes TD. Not, position. not yet level 3. He's glad about this Keeper of the Grove, doesn't have to worry about mana burn. The Engine Protector is about to fall in high new space. <laughs> 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 so it was supposed to be the answer to uh, the AP. <laughs> so I think weird. the Wiz Repair is going to be good enough. But then it's going to root. It could root here and then he has Fortified <laughs> Armor. This is so clowny. Fly and Shishi are going in. Shadowhunter is there. And this should be the fountain for them. Big items from the overseers. Yeah. Just two hunters see this, but there's nothing really that Ted and Hainu can do about this. No, nope. the entangle is not big enough. No last hit, and this is what was it? Scroll of the beast on the SH. Oh, okay. They do come in. They do want to do something about this entangle. Might lead to a surround. Ah, but nice detonate actually. Wisp in position. We don't have a lich yet with the second hero advantage. They want to uh, secure this. So many wisps again. Yeah. Wisps on crack on speed scroll once more. Also, Scroll of the Beast has been used. Wisps oh. around, maybe? Nah, not, look, not going for it. Oh, the Keeper is surrounded! He wanted to pop him out, and it works! Nicely done by Fly, the savior. Oh, the Blade Master is surrounded now. Is he? Oh, no mana, you're right. Oh, but the damage. Damage is high. <laughs> Fiend trying to block with 10 HP. <laughs> oh, oh, but, but the, the entangle! Oh, <laughs> that was perfectly in sync. <laughs> we should go to the Olympics. <laughs> and cast Olympic together. <laughs> <laughs> simultaneous casting. <laughs> New discipline at the Olympics. What's it called in English? Simultaneous swimming and we, s uh, we do a yes. simulcast? Or is it synchronized swimming? I don't know. So, w this is a unique situation because one team got the one overseer. Oh, Book of the Dead! Oh, let's go towards the orc base. Yep, immediately they're doing that. And the other team gets the second item, so 50 50. From what we know, this game will end in a draw. <laughs> And the engine of war is finally down in the base. You see the shambles there. <laughs> this game is weird. This game is fun. That's fun. T2 
Tier 3 again being delayed by the undead. We've seen this three times in a row now. First and second time the pushes here weren't so successful. But this time the orc base doesn't look as strong at all. And we have a Book of the Dead, yeah. don't forget. And the second beastery man is gonna go Triant. down. <laughs> Bestiary is going to be taken out. Mass Wisps coming in again. Book, Book of, of the, the dead. dead. And now have fun with the hunts. But there is Wisp to dispel. Look at him go. He puts it exactly in the middle. Gone it is. Perfect detonate. The DK is surrounded with two hunts, by the way. <laughs> but there's no damage coming his way yet. This is so well done by Hihi. But he lets it go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Kodo is there but hasn't eaten yet. The DK man, he's stuck on the wrong side of the, yeah, of the war. He, oh my oh, god, he, he let him through. Gives what the hell? What? Why would you do that? Just one block. I don't think they realized. Maybe. No expansion, by the way. Very weird on Lost Temple, but of course, if you go for it, then you give up the map control. Still mass melee fights here by Shishi and Fly. Huntress are suffering, but not too much. Okay, now they're dropping. The SH has so much mana, and the DK doesn't have any left. And yeah, these Huntresses, man, so low crit after crit level 3 now for the blade. There's Might even claws. be going for a crit level 2. Yeah, with two claws, uh, why not? No, nope, it's still level 1. Statue here trying to heal as Lich much as it can. Lich is maybe in problem. Speed scroll. Yeah, Blade Master looking for the kill. Gets the kill. And they're looking for more with that speed scroll. Looking great for Shishi and Fly. Getting one more Fiend. One more Huntress will most likely be falling as well. Is there mana for Entangle on either side? Yes, there we can see it. Going for more fiends, there still is no coil. And oh man, this timing has been destroyed. <laughs> <this> <laughs> Absolutely. Time. Really well done. They thought they had the upper hand with the Book of the Dead, but uh uh. Fly and she, she shut the door and again is surrounded that fiend. He's trying to open it up with the statue, but I think this will just result oh in God. another no. kill. It yes. has 31 supply That's only. That's ridiculously low. I knew 44, but of course the Huntress is not what you really want. T3 tech starting now. Ooh, Lich is back. There was a big loss. And of course, Shishi and Fly, everything is healed up thanks to the fountain. Shops are far away. Blade Master scouting this and maybe stealing the invul or something. Two rings. Yeah. Invul is gone. And the heal scroll is gone as well. So well done. This travel to the shop did do nothing for TD. Leaf gonna get the oh the creep jack gets the TP he has to use the TP he but wants the hunters just can't get out oh it's so greedy he gets bouldered actually to get stunned <laughs> and he gets the item and gets the creep wind of the wind can be interesting the lich is oh. walking into the surround again but the coil saves him he's stuck oh my god and the damage is so good cyclones <laughs> huntress <laughs> oh the oh. coil arrives too late so the lich dies. Scroll protection now used for the hunters, but as you mentioned, they can't really escape. Now the keeper is there. He could TP out, but I think it's too lazy, too, too late. He has to commit. Statues are falling. No healing anymore. Double level up for fly four and three, and this makes the orc army so much stronger. Kodo is still there, untouched. Blade Master is looking for more crits. And yeah, everything they send into it immediately dies. Level four for the DK. Speaking of dying, crit down. GG two one. Match point. Match point for the champions. <coughs> Seems like they found an answer. Defend the push and then, you know, kill him. At least on number three. Yeah, this is... Uh, it's pretty strong how they prepared for this. I mean, they, had, uh, they didn't have to prepare for one-on-one -on -one competition. So they had time to prepare for this. But same goes for Hainu and TD. Here we are back again. Yeah, this was uh, this was one fun game. I like. So, so what will you see? What is left? Nolwood and two were exactly the same. I just want to say twisted. the same, and I forgot the second map. Twisted, twisted. Nolwood and twisted. Mm, what would they go for? Mm, well, I think pushing is better on twisted. So I okay, guess twisted. Yeah, I agree. This is starting to become a little torture, by the way, with food. It's so, <laughs> it's so mean. <laughs> it smells like great food in here in this room, and uh, we have to do it. Uh, and we have to, to do it off. <laughs>
but uh, we get through it, guys. With your support, with your energy. Yes, is B2W. You want to trigger that? You mean Jawohl? Jawohl. Oh, there is a break. Apparently, they will do a break. Okay, great. Then uh, we're gonna grab something to eat real quick, and yeah. we're gonna be back with map number four. Exactly, the match point. I will uh, go through the highlights here. Remo seems to be incredibly hungry. <laughs> Since it was such a fun game, I think uh, we don't want to miss the highlights here. And yeah, that was a very good engagement by Shishi with the Keeper of the Grove. We're doubting it if that uh, might be a mistake not to go for the Demon Hunter, but of course, with the Entangles, if there's not too much to spell, then it's easy um, to get the pickups. Nice pop out by the Blade Master. And then the damage he sends in the Fiend for another kill. That was uh, interesting to say the least. And then TPing out before he dies. Really cool. Really well done. And then the push where everything was lost basically. They wanted to get the upper hand with the Book of the Dead. But that dispel by Shishi. Having a Wisp in that position was so nice. You see it from the right. Moving across and positioning in the middle. Radius is gone. Boom! Book of the Dead is gone. And then running away from this army is almost uh, impossible. So very good job by Shishi and Fly here. Huh? Okay. In, in 10 minutes the next game uh, is up. Uh, but we see the rest of the fight here. But from then on, it was just a downfall for Hainu and TD. They couldn't really fight together anymore. TD lost his entire army, basically. And there's kind of an invasion here, right? Chinese people, I don't really know what's going on. Everybody wants food, I guess. So yeah, they tried, but with so many fiends dead, Shishi with a great positioning with the Huntress, always blocking, always finding the targets. That was so strong. Then he finds the creep jack. Right, the countdown is over, and so we are back. I am back. I'm not sh uh, schizophrenic right now, but Remo is uh, coming as well. So that's all right. As we mentioned before, Foggy's dream is over, but we have the Gold Championship Series final coming up after the 2-2. Two two. There's currently a score of 2-1 to one for Fly and Shishi. And maybe with the next map, they could win this entire tournament. Would be a great start into... <laughs> <laughs> into 2017 for them, of course, after uh, a year end that wasn't too good for both of them. Both dropped out in the group stages, but they could make up for it. And the invites are already here. Twisted it is. We were right with our map predictions again. Uh, so good. Pretty strong. Next year we're going to be playing in the finals. Ah, sorry, I'm going to play with Laliat because he said Focus sucks. So I said, okay, I can I can play Undead. I will play with Focus. So uh, sorry, I have to have to ditch you for him. <coughs> right, I'm gonna play with Focus? Sonic. <laughs> 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 but who's gonna cast it then? Uh Masa. <laughs> <laughs> Won't that be a fun day for you? Losing to Sonic and Masa cast. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> According to Skype it's Masa's birthday, so happy birthday. You have him on Skype, really? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't block me yet, to be honest. Uh, things to come in the future. Maybe. 
Okay, the intro is rolling. We're gonna cut to it really quick. <coughs> As I said, real quick. And two and two finals continue. Players are ready, we are ready. Nettie is, uh, is about to start here. This might be, as I mentioned, the final map of this series. And the championship might be handed over to Fly and Shishi. What do you think are the odds on Twisted Meadows? <sighs> fitty, fitty. <laughs> fitty, fitty. Okay, I think uh, it could be a great map for this Huntress and Fiend push. If they have the timings down this time. And uh, Remo, get ready. Okay, got it. Okay, start. We see the portal uh, again. And now I knew stretching one more. They had a little bit of food, I guess. There was a little break here um, to get some energy back into the bodies here. TD still seemed to be pretty happy when he was uh, walking outside. But now he's concentrated again for, yeah. If they lose this map, they're out. Winning the second place, of course, not the worst. But they want more. They want the championship. For five years after WCG, the win for Ted could be his next big title. Not in one-on-one, -on -one, but in two-on-two. -two. Shishi and Fly, of course, uh, in spring they won this tour. As well as the one-on-one -on -one championship for Fly. What a golden tournament for him indeed it was. But those times are over, maybe. Okay, match point on Twisted Meadows. And I think we are about to start. Yes, we are. Okay, wait a minute. We're going to wait for the production and boom! Oof! Ah, you messed it up! again as he did on Central Grove which was a successful map by the way and the question is heroes what we're we gonna be seeing seems like he he in the later stages of this series is preferring the keeper of the grove and is it gonna be that again or do we see the demon Clear hunter once more oh wisp pulling out the creeps here towards the ancient of war that could, uh, I think, it will save him. Well, will the Rock Golem attack? He needs, he needs to repair, repair, quick. Oh, yeah. th it's on stop command. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, go. He's having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, it's found out now. And this Merc Camp creep will give them a slight edge with, of course, access to mercenaries if they want to. The position for Hainu is not that great. It's going for the Keeper again, TD. Death Knight, late fiends, early Ooh. hero. See, he forgot about his demon hunter attack. with all this stress at the Ancient of War. For a little while. And again he's pulling the creeps here. Ah oh no, that was uh, himself this time, <laughs> never mind. Could not get bolder in the face by the rock golem. And so many wisps, man! <laughs> nice block again. Delaying the golem approaching for a little while. Uh, DK <coughs> is running over. Will he be fast enough? I doubt it. But uh, he can do severe damage to the Engine of War. Mass repair now with three wisps. No hero is coming. Of course he was late. Oh, that's going to be so much pressure. Keeper and yeah, DK oh, running over. This could be horrible. Of course they both want uh, the more kills the better. The Demon Hunter is coming in now. Little block from Hainu. Look for the Entangle. Entangle is coming. And can he get the last hit? That would be disastrous for them. DK gets it with Frostmorn, and he got the item as well. Whoa, everything. that was so good, but maybe he gets the Keeper. Coil on the Archer, that falls. Demon Hunter should be faster, but no. Keeper of the Grove can get away. There might be another Entangled soonish. And the Blade Master, uh, well, he has to make up for it now. He has to carry this. But the Angel of War survives, I think that's the big deal. Loses the Archer, yes. Loses the item, yes. Losing the XP, yes. Yeah, but... Uh the DK is also not creeping in the meantime. He got that experience from uh, the Golem. So actually decent experience. The Keeper, of course, uh, he doesn't really want to get XP. He wants to be annoying early on. 
And that's exactly what he's been doing. But Fly gets to over, off to a good start. Oh, oh but this might change. And there's healing, but there is no entangle. Interestingly, he decides otherwise. DK finds him, cancels the healing, and with entangle. Yes, this should be the kill. Speed scroll being used. Keeper of the Grove is being attacked by the Blade Master. Backstep outmaneuvering him for once. Here's the backstep. Does he have more mana? Yes, two more wind walks. This is definitely a kill, and Fly and Shishi are back in this game. Yeah, lets him die. I mean, it's only another one keeper. He doesn't even have moon juice, anyways. He lost the grunt, right? Yeah, he lost the grunt. Okay, so speed scroll was not enough, uh, not good enough to save that one. <laughs> <laughs> sounds a little, sounds a little Russian. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, no huntress hall and no second engine of war, by the way, by Shishi. He's going dryads again, like on the first map, which they won. And I knew, of course, is going for mass huntress. One trick pony, they are ponies, maybe. Did you ever want a pony? No. No? I'm scared of horses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like sheep? <laughs> <laughs> I, I could ask questions like this all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, more creeping here. Uh, interesting that they don't push, but... I think it's the, the, the orc base is far away from Hainu, and that's why they continue to harass here. Uh, they want to get rid of mm, a lot of archers here. Demon Hunter gets to level 2 after this Overseer. Finally he gets it. Ring of Protection again. Keeper is there, though. He has the Abolish against the Entangle, which is pretty cool. And there we go! Archer gonna die regardless. Oh, nice shadow melt, actually. Never mind. She really well away. done by Shishi. The Analyst creeping the natural here, finding the Ring of Regeneration, which is really, which is really good for creeping. TD already on tier 2 with the Lich coming and more fiends. Oh, the blade already level 3, man. Yeah. Really quick progress yeah. this game. Fly had enough time. While Shishi was getting wrecked <laughs> at the Merc camp. Double ring, by the way. Lord of the Rings. Shadow Hunter Beast to read. Tier 2 for Fly is finished as well. For Shishi, it's about to finish with a shop already there. Hunter's Hall didn't forget about that. Ultra Vision coming. Was very great in night times, but oh, wisp pull by Hainu, and they're getting ready for this push. Only three, four, okay, five hunters. That's good. Keeper of the Grove and DK. It's close to level three. Three hunters. That's a good amount of damage, and now they're pushing into fly space. It's good. Shadow Hunter is not there, but it's only a matter of time. Can he get it with a hex and the wind walks? I know that the keeper is the right choice. If the keeper drops low, he's probably just gonna let him die. Oh, the SH next to the shop getting entangled, surrounded immediately. That is a big, big loss. Gonna go for a heal potion, can't pop him out. Maybe, and he can! Well done, actually does not lose him. Abusing the game here a little bit to keep a second hero alive. Another heal wave should be there, and there we go. Coil not good enough. The DK so close to level 3, man. Four experience away, but sometimes... Good four experience is... Uh, a lot. <laughs> Great <laughs> <laughs> Great defense by CC and Fly. They are keeping up the flag here, and they keep them th themselves in the game here on TM. But the pressure is continuing. They lost a bit, and they didn't get the Shadow Hunter. A lot of damage was used, but also a lot of mana on the Shadow Hunter. He's healing him up with a Clarity Potion. Now the Naga is back. This is the constellation that we saw in game one. Basically, exactly the same. And they retreat. They think, okay, it's well defended. We can't do too much here anymore. Blade Master gets a bit of vision. No items for the Undead Night Elf team here. Hoping for a flute here. That would, of course, be the perfect one. Benefiting the entire army, apart from Skeletons and DK. And Snare's coming, and Grunts as well. Kodo is already there for the damage boost. And it takes a lot of time for f uh, TD. Oh, the Demon Hunter! Getting caught out. Can and pop him out again. He doesn't want to risk it. He would be surrounded himself. So lets him die. Yeah, not getting the potion. There was too much. And now they're under pressure. N or going oh, going this for was him again. so good. Almost, man. He burned the mana with the first wisp and then go went in for the entangle. If he had gotten that kill, this might be game. Going oh for the Kodo now. That's also a big pickup. Getting course. so many pickups here. Great push by TD and Hainu, but the speed scroll. Well done oh by oh Fly. Oh, not enough. The last shot. Oh boy, and now they might be overwhelmed with what's to come. They don't get the right position here. They go back and forth and back and forth. Fly only 34 supply. CC 40. And now Ted gets to creep the big camp here. Is it going to be the flute? 
Is it gonna be the ridiculous good, good item? Nope, it's gonna be pretty crap and get sold right away here. The Boots yeah. of Quantalas. Boots of Quantalas is not what you want in this combo. Shishi is getting Dryads now. This is, of course, a lot of this spell. Demon Hunter is coming back. Level 2. Not an easy loss to take. Hainu keeps on being uh, keeps on tier 2. TD is going to tier 3. Still no destroyers against this. Because, of course, there's too much. Kodo is being rebought by Fly. Only 38 food again for him. Blade Master is waiting for the next creep, the next Warlord. Second chance for the Flute. And, of course, Thomas of Experience. This Blade Master inventory, by the way, is so bad, man. The single ring, that is it. Boot Bracers, though, are also a bad item for yeah. Ted. Mass Hunt's now going towards the Night of Main. What's at home to defend? Nothing, because the Dryads are helping with the creeping for the Orc. Of course, now, finally, Shishi has managed to get to tier his Tier 2, and Dryads are the perfect counter to Huntresses. Yeah, exactly, and they have the Boots of Keltalas. This will be a good damage boost for the Blade Master, finally. But TD is finding so many levels. Almost level 4 on the DK, level 2 on the Lich, and this is Hainu distracting. Going for the Keeper, though. Uh, there's a TP out, and he uses that, killing the Lord! Damage? Yes, it is! Not even close. And the SH got to creep a lot here. He's gonna get level 3 and that's big. He needs to keep those heroes alive. Demon Hunter and Blade Master like he was able to on Turtle Rock for map number 1 in this series. Item for him is... Panel of Energy! Wow. Ooh, great drops for Fly. Is this Focus playing? <laughs> I haven't seen Varia in the, in the area, so <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. TD is coming for the creep jack, and the rock boulders might help him. But the golem. Oh, will he fly? Uh, will he go to TD? No, he didn't steal it. And the Toby mask. Of experience as well. Yeah, that was a big, big drop here. Wow, these last three items. Yeah, Sobi are mask ridiculous. for the shadow hunter most likely. Pendant yeah. and Sobi mask. Holy cow! Just hand over the boots, and then you're fine. Dark Ranger again for TD Clear third. Well, the Lich is not level 3, always close, but no cigar. Destroyer upgrade is ready! Alright. But for what? For destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing it today, man! I know. Against the Grunts, it's gonna be great. They have to be careful about uh, the Dryads and Raiders, of course. Kodo Beast far up front, and they decide, okay, we don't want to fight in the Night Elf base. We go to Fly's home. And flies at home. A and a raider and a grunt are already there, so they know what's up. Catching a fiend for free. And is this level four? No, far away. They don't have TPs, by the way, neither of them. Here's the first destroyer going for the burrows. That is tremendous damage against them. First one down, fly a supply stack, and the shop is gone. Not so easy to defend this time. The high ground is there for the night elf and the undead team. They're coming into defense. Do they have a speed scroll to engage? No, they don't. And Snare's flying, but oh my god, this base is so wrecked. Yeah. And the fiends in the back, they can't be reached easily. Or oh, Demon Hunter Jesus Christ. gets the potion so much damage, for being blocked with staffed out. So the Demon Hunter immediately out of the fight. Kodo is still there providing... Uh, the, the Blade Master is the next target. They want the hero focus now. Same goes for Fly on the Dark Ranger, but there might be a call. No, heal scroll. Critical strike, and this should be it for the DR. It is with a crit, splitting her head. In two with the Nova, Invu Potion. Holy shit, this is close. They're killing enough raiders, I guess. So the army is dropping fairly low. The Dryads are still standing strong, but Fly, where is his army? Oh, the Blade Master getting slowed, but not dying. Demon Hunter is back in the fight, by the way. Destroy is finally ensnared. And finally level, level three. three. Yeah, they have two potions. He bought one. I think the Blade Master needs one in uh, going into Invis. If there was a shop here for the SH, it would be magnificent, but there isn't. It has been destroyed before. Can these heroes prevail? Going for the Lich, Lich now. There's no mana for a coin. I think he has to swap over the TP, actually saving himself to the back line. There are statues on the ground now again. Tangle Demon, Hunter. Demon Hunter, there's a potion. Staffs out, interestingly. Hainu is saving a lot of Hunters here. Well done. Level 3 on the Keeper of the Grove. But they're all starting to drop. Yeah. This Kodo providing so much damage in this fight. Not going in for eating. I think that's a good choice. Staying in the back, just giving the aura is more important. And they drive him back again. There's no... Oh, oh Blade Master so exposed! And Tangle and that's oh, not a mistake! Once again, Fly and his Blade Master movement, man. Between heaven and hell, 
between genius and insanity. And he's losing them once again. This was the mo the big, big damage dealer. The Berserker is gone as well. Maybe he can su uh, sacrifice the Huntress now, going for a surround. He might be able to fight out there. He has two more potions using the first one now. Heal wave, but Nova and right clicks. And Staff saves him for the third time. Jesus Christ. And moving forward, so many of these units are so low, man. The Chakram getting two kills right after another. Two shot. <coughs> Tensin at 44 supplies, so with a good army, it's level 5 again, really quickly on the DK. And the next nuke is going to be even worse, level 4 for the Lich, I think. This should be theirs. I think so too, man. Fly is going for tier 3, but that takes forever. And the Dryads are falling left, right and center, level 2 for the Dark Ranger. The shop will be killed again. Keeper of the Grove is coming back with a heal scroll, perfect. Because everything was quite hurt. The statues are providing healing. This is basically over. The push was perfect. Bl Demon Hunter is back. Blade Master as well from the tavern. Gets an Invo Potion. Level 4, but only plus 6 damage. The Kodo is not there anymore. Oh, okay, it is. With the Shadow Hunter there. Blade Master is coming back in. Altar is gone. Last stand for them. Surrounding him again after the Entangle. No mana because he is coming from the tavern. Nova, Heal Wave, what Nuke. Whoa, Invo Potion. Very last second, man. This Dark Ranger again in a very bad spot. The silence on the SH. Is that going to be a dispel? Yes, there is Heal Wave! Whoa. Very last second, but they have to keep on running if they want to survive. Nope. Nova hitting and killing the Blade Master for the second time. And I believe this is now a point without recovery. Going for the DK, but he has a TP and even he's still pretty tanky. The Demon Hunter taking way more damage, eating one of those potions. But the right clicks keep on coming. It seems to be a little too much here. This push is still moving forward. And the Orc base... Getting destroyed more and more. Peons falling now as well. The barracks, so is the barracks. Yeah, yeah, the barracks is almost down. No grunts anymore. No heroes anymore. And that should be it, man. They're not calling the game just yet, but I think it's safe to say we go to the fifth and deciding map in this 2-2 two two contest. The Kodo will be back, but it's 57 supply for TD. It's 33 for Hainu. 15 for Fly and 39 for Shishi. This is ridiculously low. The Agent of War is going to buy back the Blade Master <laughs> in the middle of the tavern. Trying to go for the Keeper. Yeah, but the even fiends. if they kill him, I don't think it matters. They, ki they, they the killed dryads, one Dryad yeah. after another. The Fiends, they have way too strong. Hail Mary attempt on the Lich. Hex on the DK, so there's no coil, but there was a potion. Shadow Hunter now almost surrounded. High surrounds are on point today, but this one was not the one. GG! And we go into map 5. TAD and Hainu coming back! Alright, that was finally a very close one. Seemed like we had only f pretty one-sided matches before. That one was right on the edge. And Fly maybe cursing the RNG gods with those <laughs> early game. Imagine like two claws on that Blade Master instead. <coughs> the damage would have been a lot higher. Yeah, to that. I think the biggest thing though in that game was actually how the Demon Hunter was kept down. Yeah. Started at the very beginning with the Ancient of War creep, getting the, uh, stealing the big one, the Golem, and delaying everything else for him. And when the big push came, he was in level 3, no level 2 mana burn, and the Undead, easy carry it seemed. Yeah, right it is. And Nullwood will bring the decision. Isn't that nice? This old school map is coming back here for this tournament. And yeah, this is one map. You want to adjust the gamma now, by the way? <laughs> no. It's one map for uh, 4,500 euro dollars. Sorry. See some highlights again. Of course, the game started horrible for Shishi with that rock golem steal. And after that, we go right into the last fight. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to uh, miss any. Also such a good position for the red team. The concave, fantastic. Yeah. The blue units like have a tough time attacking. Yeah, the Raiders far in the back a little. Can't really find the targets. They don't have too much against the Hunters because they're so split that once the Dryads attack the Hunters, the Fiends are there in the nice concave to shut them down. Yeah, the Demon was forced out of the fight immediately. So not even level 1 burns to worry about for the longest time. Yeah, this fight lasted forever, but good hero focus all the time. On the Demon Hunter, who, who had uh, been staffed out three times. Late Master dying twice, I think. Yep. 
So yeah, that's their strong suit. The hero focus, the massing, the timing. And they hit a good timing before Fly really had an army. And killed the shop, of course, which was uh, the key against the Shadow Hunter. I wonder why they go for this AP only on Centaur Grove. Uh, yeah, Centaur Grove. I mean, they know this push is coming. And if you have an AP there shooting at the Hunts the entire time, that is so much damage. It's crazy how Hainu runs back here with everything so low, but keeps it all alive. Was it a heal scroll there? Yeah, it was. Okay, perfect timing for that. Yeah, and there, where the Blade Master died at the second time right here. Um, no, that was the first time, actually. That was an overextension, definitely. And the demon, he, he comes into the fight, gets focused, uses a potion, and has to be staffed back again. Total non-factor that game. Yeah, they know how to do their two and twos, man. And the tier three was, of course, just desperation because he couldn't do too much more. He had the resources, but he was supply block for the longest time. And the surrounds. Throughout the entire series, the surrounds have been crazy good. All right. We're going to have two champions after this game. After that, we continue with the one-on-one. -on -one. And then we have the third champion of today. 1-0 versus Lin, by the way, is our grand final. Foggy made it all the way to third place, making Europe proud. Yeah. But the final will be decided between Korea and China. Lin just was too strong for him today. It was uh, not the miracle repeating from last year's GCS. No, no. But definitely a strong performance. And uh, we're hoping for more with that money that he made here today. He can uh, live for another year, I think. Provide food and stuff. This is actually what he told us, right? Like, 100 a month? Yeah. No, that's 14 months for him. Good job. Good job. And of course, uh, he's gonna be back for Gera Cups <laughs> and for Ifen Cups, and he's gonna be streaming. It's full-time foggy. That's right, and uh, sky's the limit for him, as we mentioned before. So, two and two will be decided here. We see the players for the last time before we coronate the two and two champions. Null what it is, game starts. And yeah, was, is it going to be Night Elf Undead or Night Elf Orc? What will prevail here? It seems to be uh, coming down to the map, and I think this one should be better for Fly and Shishi. That's, of course, why TD and Hainu picked Twisted yep. to stay alive. No wood, more time for them to get their army up. This is always essential. And Ted was always carrying in these late game scenarios. And Nolwood is not only good for split push to dissuade the uh, you know big push coming your way, but also really hard to creep efficiently, actually. Creep camps are most of the time pretty small, or they're far apart from each other. And the items here are pretty weak, actually, most of the time. And now he has the added bad luck of spawning close to the orc. <laughs> that is really not good. What's the, the fountain, by the way? Fuck you, with the gamma, I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I told you to adjust the gamma. Oh, I think it's health, <laughs> right? That's right. Getting better. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You were the first of the two of us to use the F word on our time here in China. Damn! <laughs> 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 well, it happens. It's uh, <laughs> three weeks. I think we can go for it. But do you think that it's, it's bad luck to spawn next to the orc? I think it's good. Yeah, for when you want to push. But yeah. I mean, he wants to creep to the level three before that. Yeah, but and then still, you can. It was twice the, the fact that they went for Fly's base to go for the burrows. And with Fiends, of course, uh, you want it to be as close as possible so you can do it more often. Because the Raiders are already really late. So running away from Orc is not that big of a problem as it is in one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, yeah. In that stage of the game, it's good if you want to push the Orc. But how easy is the DK going to have over time for creeping? That's the question. He needs those levels. Level 5 DK in, I think, two of our four games so far. And those were the ones they won. True that. Okay, we'll see. DK first. Late Fiends for TD. Uh, the Keeper of the Grove on both sides of the Night Elves. 
Uh, I knew a little faster. Or was it no, Shishi a little faster. And he was feeding, I guess, a little. Or forgetting about it. Who knows? Blade Master for Fly, obviously. And a shop, so everything ordinary here. And Mass Hunts. Or, uh, first we have Single Hunts by Shishi. And Single Hunts behind you as well. Yep. Second Angel of War will be added later. And here comes the Wisp. She's, uh huh. The Night Elf is here. That means the Undead is over there. Wouldn't be surprised to see Blade Master and Keeper making their way towards the DK first. They don't know that the fiends are delayed, but they will be finding out about that in a second. Blade Master going towards the shop and hoping for the first claws. Fly was really unlucky. We have to admit last map with the item drops. And you mean with uh, the boots of Keltalas, the Sobi mask, and the pendant of energy? <laughs> <laughs> On the Blade Master. All right. He got two rings. Circle it for Fly, but I think he bought it and sold the usual item. Yep. was another ring. Little skirmishes here, of course. The shops are always the first things to take, as it's so easy. Last hits from Shishi, maybe? Can make up for the mistake he did on LT? Nope, and he didn't. Nope. Circle goes towards the DK. Gonna take a lot of damage here, but there's a health fountain in the middle. So that doesn't really matter too much. Oh, they want to get the TP here or the kill, maybe? Speed scroll, entangle, everything coming in, but that's gonna be a counter entangle on the Blade Master. And actually, they might be losing this grunt instead. Oh, speed scroll saves him. There's another tangle. Uh, oh, nice. The dust was so important on the Blade Master. They're yeah. keeping him back. This will not be enough for a kill on the DK. Nope, he won't reach. Nice defense by TD and Hainu. Uh, yeah, by TD and Hainu. T2 for TD is already starting. For Fly, it's the same, slightly ahead. And of course, the Night Elves. They will feed Double Engine of War by both of them. Shishi a little later. Ultra Vision for both as well. And Health Fountain, of course. Amazing for the Orc. Here come the Huntresses and the Grunt. Kind of in danger of dying if the DK could should show up with his Keeper. Do they drop like claws here, like on. Uh, Oh, like, like on, on Secret? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen Nolbot in such a long time. Like, except 2 and 2, of course. Oh, Entangle, long range. But is the damage enough? I do another one. think so. Uh, Wisp detonate, but I don't think ah. it's good enough. Get that? Oh, no. Okay, second Entangle. Yeah, you're right. Jesus Christ, takes forever to take this guy. <laughs> <these creeps. laughs> And nope, no items here. Does he want to kill the dragon against the health fountain with only the keeper of the grove? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> gonna be a while. Yeah. Is he seriously doing this? No. Okay, they move north. No Sisyphus work for him. Once again, the AP in, chi in Fly's base. They are aware that this is their weak spot. The Achilles heel. Yeah, I like this. AP has brought the victory on Turtle Rock before. Forces so are many wisps attack. moving in again. Shishi with his wisps this series, man. Blade Master will be hitting level 2 in a short while. Surprised they didn't go for this camp here for a possible another clause. No. Maybe more important to keep the undead down. Stay close to him, don't let him level up. As the DK is still only level 1, but has some decent experience here. Close to level 2, certainly. T3 and tech rushing immediately. Oh, switching it up. Yep, d definitely a difference. But Lich will be late and the Slaughterhouse as well. Hainu is pulling a lot of wisps with his 38 food. And now they want to go into Player Fly's base where the beastery is about to completion, uh, 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 about to complete. But, yeah, base is open, of course, as it Norwood so hard to build it properly. But they go for the Rock Golem first. This is level 2 for the DK. Will it be creep jacked? I don't think so. Keeper has a staff for more mobility. As Norwood is, of course, a huge, huge map. And getting out of the surround as well. Nice to have. So ridiculous that this camp only drops a serpent. Yeah. <laughs> Wasting your time with the Rock Golem. But the experience is good. So close to level 3. I knew with only 10 experience on his keeper. Yep. Sacrificial lamb as basically the entire Night Elf is in this in this combo. Night of Undead. Double beast three it is by the way. I want to have the forces a little faster this time. Did they scout the tier three? I do not think so. But yeah, well they should know by now since the Lich has yeah, shown yeah, his that's face. Right. Engagement in the middle of the map. 
Huntress versus Huntress. The Fiends are joining now, gets the first pick up. She, she again, losing this one, you know, they want the fight with the fountain in the bag. The Grunts have the upgrade, so a little faster their uh, regeneration is. <laughs> Fly found another ring. <laughs> 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 wow. If he goes for this and finds another ring, that will be mar marvelous. Alright, next chance. Ah, uh, can't be. 25%. Is it? Is it? Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Would have been great. At least a little damage boost for him, but of course he always wants the claws and the circlets. I'm starting to fear here for this SH. He needs to hit level 3. We saw before how yeah. strong the hero focuses, and the level 2 hero wave has to be there. She's pulling 5 wisps to scout now. TD is getting ready, 42 food, no destroyer upgrade yet. Okay, tier 3 is ready for the orb. Mighty, mighty weapon. And the fight starts here with the Hunters in the front. Mass Wisps on both sides. Where are the detonates? They're coming in, I guess. Oh, they're going to be sniped. Nice behind, uh, by, by TD, but detonates are hitting. So only one coil here. Spell of Protection being used. Shadow Hunter, as you mentioned, only level 1. Both sides have a scroll of protection, by the way. The Wisps have all been used before, so they can't really detonate. Level 3 for TD. Alright. Oh, oh, we have the Fiends again. And this is really good against the Fiends, opening up this uh, this concave a little. But the Kodo, Kodo is down. Oh, the focus of TD is so good. This, this Wisp detonate is going to be so big. Yeah, the, the protection is gone. Yeah. And with the Orb of Corruption and the Fiend shots, man, it's so easy against the Hunters. Fly is losing a lot. The Blade Master is no factor with this inventory. Shadow Hunter target blocked by High Noon. No, not closing it here. Oh, by the Blade Master. Uh oh, he no has no man. mana and no TP and nothing. He has a heal wave there. Shadow Hunter's leveling up, but he can't fight out. He's out of this game, or at least for now. Level 3. This will take about two minutes to get him back. This is forever. Oh man, it's Aww. looking bad for the champions, for the defending ones. They had match points, but the resiliency of TD and Hainu might show him the way. And now they own the fountain. This is so big. Fly is trying to go for some base attack with these raiders. He has four. That's good. Should kill the crypt, right? Okay, first the tome, then the crypt. TD, by the way, forgot a statue the entire time. And Shishi is going in for another kill. This is the split push that brought them back into games before. But so can he get another coil? No, he doesn't. One Raider dead. A they can't really defend attack. this here. Uh, like they can't really do this anymore. Shadow Hunter TP out just to be safe. Wow, so much stuff lost here. Yep. So it looks like a decently big army for Shishi, but it's only 37. And they will become weaker and weaker as the game continues. 90 food for Hainu and TD. This is only oh, 80 for the other guys. And the Shadow Hunter is only level 2, man. Expansion by Shishi. This is, uh, this is a Hail Mary. They have to do something here. Fly wants to defend. Ensner gets the first Huntress, but Entangle is the counter. The Edge Protector is already gone. This was an investment. I don't know if it's so worth it, but of course it takes uh, the focus of the units for now. What is Shishi doing? Going for the Engines of War, but I don't know if that's the correct answer. Does he have a Town Portal? Yes, he does. Pretty good building placement here makes it hard for the Huntresses to go for the main tree, for the Tree of Life. Oh, and now the Boro is totally exposed. Does he really not want to help in defense? Yes, he was just waiting for the Blade Master, and now he's going to be helping with defending. Very offensive town pot going for the Lich right away, eating the Coil Nova on the Keeper of the Grove, by the way. The Lich now can't be getting healed up. The Blade Master doesn't have the mana. I used it before for the Windwalk. The Keeper is down. And oh, without the Entanglement, how does he want to get control? Of course he has a few Raiders, but will this be it? He's trying to go for the Keeper himself, but it doesn't really work. Doesn't find the focus. The Fiends against the Raiders, they don't take much damage. The Hunters of Shishi are all over the place. And now it's time to focus on the Blade Master again. Coil and dead he is! Is this the focus to glory? Is this the focus to the championship? It is! GG! And we have a new champion. Two new champions. It's gonna be Ted and Hainu taking it. All in the series that went all the way. Map number five, Norwood was decision. And look how happy they are. Yep, that's uh, that's really cool. I mean, 
They made it through the winner bracket, only dropping two maps in this entire tournament, and that was here against Fly and Shishi. And of course, fair sportsmen, they know each other for such a long time. Fair handshakes. And that is, uh, yeah, the crown for TD again. Five years or four and a half years after his WCG win. That's cool. Yeah, he's such a likable guy. Is it going to be his last title or is he going to be coming back? That's a big years. question. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to enjoy 2 and 2 a lot. And this is BBC, uh, as we heard, the most important Chinese figure in esports, or the most famous at least. And the boss of Imba TV. And of course, uh, they are saying some words now. We have not too many ideas of what's going on. But yeah, cool for Hainu as well. I mean, he wasn't the Shadows um, for the longest, longest time. And now on the side of TD, he makes it to glory. $5,700 according. Oh no, that's the one on one competition. How much was it for two and two? 4500 I guess. Yeah. Yeah, 4500 for the two. Uh, still 2250 for Shishi and Fly. They will be happy about that. And here's the check. The big one. Yes. It is uh, 30,000 yuan. And that's the Nettie's representative responsible for Warcraft 3. Showing his face and then being shoot off again. Yeah, maybe not a camera guy. And yeah, it's cool to see their emotions. You see Hainu uh, is pretty happy about this. About to smile and yeah. Kiri, of course, the guy we love and know. We will be back. Woman. And final, it's one more series here in Shanghai. The three-week tournament will be over and it's all going to come down to one more series. Lin versus 120, who's going to take home the big check. 40,000 RMB for the winner and, of course, the champion of Gold Series. Lin back-to-back -back WCA and Gold Series or the first big, big title for the Undead since uh, TD's WCG win. Got to see about that in a bit. Stay tuned.